Well, hello there! It's that time again. You know what time. Time for the blog that truly blazes here on this beautiful, well, it's been raining, but still, every day is a beautiful day. Here in South Florida, when I'm at my home away from home, Modern Zen, Friday the 15th of August. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and of course, always, most interestingly, what lies ahead of us at the end of this week. So do stay tuned. Again, I think a wonderful ride this week. A great reading. Yes, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading, and this card was the Ten of Cups. Ooh, the most beneficial card in the entire deck. Now, I didn't get rich this week, but I do feel blessed. I have a lot of nice things in my life, many blessings in my life on many different levels, and it's just a matter of being grateful for what I have. It's more of an inner realization for me than an outward manifestation, though we never know what the weekend holds. You know, these cards, they do slide a little bit as far as, as, far as the time frame goes, okay? So there could be more blessings in store that I haven't seen. But Ten of Cups is an outpouring of blessing upon us spiritually, emotionally, financially, even health-wise. Again, probably the most beneficial card in the entire deck, Mars and Pisces, entitled in the Golden Dawn deck, Perfected Success. So this is a very, very high level energy. And we have some beautiful creative and grounding energies flowing through this upcoming week. Yes, we do. The next card, the card of the present, what we're coming into now, is the Empress. Now the Empress is the supreme love talisman. It is a symbol of love, the symbol of connection with others, sociability, emotional connection, sexual connection, whatever it may be. It's that deep connection between ourselves and others. And also, it's our creativity. Alright, so our creative energies are going to be flowing this week in whatever way they flow. You're going to find yourself expressing your innermost thoughts, your innermost feelings. Those things are going to be coming out of you in, in constructive ways, okay? In ways that are beneficial to you and the people around you. This is a good time, too, to focus again on financial matters, but not like with the Capricorn cards and stuff we've had in the recent past. This is more of just looking at what can I do to generate more abundance in my life? What can I do to express my creative passion and make it manifest in this world? And as we focus upon that, things naturally do begin to manifest and coalesce for us towards the end of this upcoming week. Yes, it's true. The third and final card is the Hierophant, or the Pope, or High Priest, depending on what deck you're looking at. Okay, He's attributed to Taurus. Very auspicious. Taurus is ruled by Venus, the preceding card. So this is a natural progression of energy. That Venus energy is going to be expressed through our finances. Taurus does love stability financially. It's also very, very grounded and tends to be very focused on what it wants to accomplish. This can also represent higher learning, especially occult truths. But in practical terms, it does tend to indicate financial security, or at least having a sense of that. So it's a very pleasing energy, very calm energy, very grounded energy. So there you go. The blog blaze, you blazed with it. An excellent week ahead of us nice energy. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your love. And until I see you next week, many, many blessings.